Welcome back to the channel. In this complete and detailed tutorial, I will guide you step by step on how to create your own custom Open Tunnel VPN using all available protocols. This includes SSH Direct, SSH Proxy, SSH TLS, SSH Slow DNS, V2Ray, WireGuard, ShadowSox, and also the built in free servers provided inside Open Tunnel VPN. This video will also teach you how to share your VPN connection from Android to other devices, including Windows, Linux, Mac, iPhone, and even smart TVs. My goal is to make sure that even a beginner can follow every step without confusion. So watch this video till the end and follow every step carefully. Let's begin. To start, we need a custom all-in-one SSH server that we will use inside Open Tunnel VPN. First, open your internet browser. In the search bar, type SSH Tunnel and press Enter. From the search results, tap the official SSH Tunnel website, which will take you to the homepage. If you are not logged in, you will not be able to create any servers, so log in using your Gmail account or Yandex email account. Once logged in successfully, you will be redirected to your dashboard. On the dashboard, you will see different server regions such as Asia, Europe, North America, and South America. Choose any region based on your requirement. For example, if you choose Asia, you will then see specific country server options like UAE, Singapore, India, Japan, and more. Tap on your preferred location to continue. The website will now load the server account creation form. Wait a few seconds, the form loads slowly due to security measures. After the form loads, enter your server username and password. These will be used later inside Open Tunnel VPN, so remember them. After entering all fields, tap Create Server. Within a few seconds, your server details will appear. You will now see your host name, IP address, port numbers, DNS information, public key details, and all required configuration fields. Do not close this page. Copy and save all details somewhere safe because we will use every field inside Open Tunnel VPN settings. Now let's download the Open Tunnel VPN app. Unlock your phone and open the Google Play Store. In the search bar, type Open Tunnel VPN and press Enter. From the search list, tap the official Open Tunnel VPN app. Tap the download button and wait while the app is downloaded and installed. After installation is complete, you will see the Open button. Tap it to launch the app. If this is your first time, the app may ask for notification permission. Tap Allow and continue. You will now be on the home screen of Open Tunnel VPN, ready to begin configuration. On the home screen of Open Tunnel VPN, select the protocol type as SSH. Make sure the mode is set to direct. This is the simplest and most common type of SSH connection. Next, tap the three-line menu icon located at the top left corner to open the side menu. From the side menu, tap SSH settings. Here, you will see fields for host or IP address, port, username, password, and other technical options. Enter the host or IP address exactly as shown in your custom server details. Then enter the SSH port provided by your server. After that, type in the username you created and the password. Once all fields are filled, tap Save and return to the home screen. Now tap the Start button to test the SSH Direct connection. If the connection fails, stop the VPN, tap on Payload on the main screen, and create a simple payload. After saving the payload, try connecting again. You can swipe left to view detailed logs if errors appear.
To configure SSH proxy, return to the home screen and change the protocol from direct to proxy or proxy with payload. You need a working proxy for this method. You can get a free proxy from a custom UDP or proxy provider website. To enter the proxy details, tap the menu icon, then tap proxy server. Enter the proxy host, port number, proxy username, and proxy password if required. After entering everything, save the setup and return to the main screen. Now tap Start to connect. If you see any error, adjust the payload or proxy server details until a stable connection is established. For SSH TLS, go back to SSH settings and change the port to either 443 or the TLS-specific port provided by your server. TLS requires a valid SNI, which is a server name indicator. Examples include Google.com, Facebook.com, or any other valid SNI provided by your server provider. Enter the SNI in the designated field. If you want to use a payload, tap the Payload button and add a payload suitable for TLS. Save all settings. Return to the home screen and tap Start. The connection should now work under TLS tunnel mode. If not, double check your SNI and port number. To configure SSH slow DNS, first select slow DNS mode from the protocol list. You will now see fields for DNS server, name server, and public key. All these details must be taken from the custom SSH server you created earlier. Enter the DNS address, the name server address, and the server public key exactly as shown. Slow DNS also requires using the SSH port instead of TLS port, so go back to SSH settings and update the port if needed. Once all fields are correctly filled, return to the main screen and tap Start. Slow DNS is usually slower, but works even on restricted networks. Now let us configure V2Ray settings. On the home screen, tap V2Ray. You will now see a large field for entering your V2Ray configuration in JSON format. If your server provider gives you a V2Ray configuration file, copy the entire content and paste it into this field. You can also tap the clipboard icon to auto-import your configuration if copied already. If you want to manually create a V2Ray configuration, tap the Add button. Choose the V2Ray type, such as VMS, VLess, Trojan, or other supported types. Enter the host name, port number, UUID, encryption type, path, host, SNI, and other required fields. After entering all details, save the configuration, return to the home screen, and tap Start to connect. To configure WireGuard, open your website server generator and copy the WireGuard configuration. Inside OpenTunnelVPN, go to the V2Ray section, just like before, and paste the WireGuard configuration. You can also manually enter private key, public key, peer information, endpoint, and DNS settings. For ShadowSox, copy the ShadowSox server configuration, including host, port, method, and password. Paste it into the V2Ray input box or manually enter each field. Save the settings and connect. OpenTunnelVPN also provides free built-in servers. To access them, go to the home screen and set protocol to SSH. Then tap Server Type and choose Free Servers. 
If the servers do not load, tap Refresh. Choose your preferred server location and protocol type, such as Direct, TLS, or Slow DNS. Tap Import to automatically load the configuration. Press Start to connect. For V2Ray built-in servers, change protocol to V2Ray, select a server from the list, and import it. You can also open the side menu, tap Free Servers, and explore all V2Ray, WireGuard, and ShadowSox options. Tap on any server to import it. To share Open Tunnel VPN with your PC or other devices, open the side menu and tap Tethering. Enable the Tethering option. Choose the proxy type as either HTTP or SOX and then tap Save. The app will now show an IP address and port. These values will be used on the device you want to share the VPN with. To share VPN with another Android or iPhone, connect the second device to your hotspot. Then open Wi-Fi settings on the second device, go to proxy settings, and manually enter the IP and port shown in Open Tunnel VPN. For Windows, connect your PC to the hotspot. Then open Windows proxy settings, enter the IP and port, and apply settings. For Linux or Mac, go to Network Settings, open Wi-Fi Advanced Settings, and enter the proxy details. You can also configure proxy via terminal in Linux. Smart TVs and other Wi-Fi enabled devices that support proxy settings can also use the VPN the same way by entering the same IP and port. You have now learned every single setting inside Open Tunnel VPN, including how to create your own custom server and how to use the built-in servers. We covered SSH Direct, SSH Proxy, SSH TLS, Slow DNS, V2Ray, WireGuard, ShadowSox, and also learned how to share VPN to PC, Android, Windows, Mac, Linux, and TV.
If this tutorial helped you, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this guide with others who need it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.